Hey guys, what is up? Today's video comes at the request of actually several different people. I have gotten multiple requests over the last few months to talk about my experience in Faber, Virginia at the Monroe Institute. So for those of you who are not familiar with the Monroe Institute, it was founded by Robert Monroe. And if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you know who Robert Monroe is. And it was actually his home where they now hold various training courses. So there's two primary buildings uh, a little bit further down the mountain. There's the Nancy Penn Center. Nancy was his wife. And then further up the mountain is his primary residence right next to a guest house where I stayed and next to his laboratory slash research center where he would practice inducing out-of-body experiences. Uh, he would do experiments with hemisync and he would train other people. So when you're actually going through these courses at the Monroe Institute, you're staying at Bob's house, which is pretty cool. I, man, I wish I would have met that guy. He is one of my all-time favorite people. So end of September, beginning of October 2015, I was set to go for the Gateway Voyage course. Uh, now, everything I read online, um, various forums, the Monroe Institute website itself, they all pointed to the Gateway Voyage as a good kind of introductory program, and it's actually a prerequisite for several of the other programs there. So I figured it would be a good place to start. Um, I went in with this mindset that I was going to have the most incredible week of non-stop out-of-body experiences. This was going to just really accelerate my progress forward, and just it was going to be amazing. That was my mindset. This is what I expected. Now, they send you a letter in the mail. And this letter tells you a little bit about uh, a little bit about the course, a little bit about what to expect, and also about what not to expect. They say very specifically that you are not supposed to go in with expectations. Don't go in expecting anything at all. Just go in with an open mind and take what you can get from it, and that is how you are going to benefit the most from this course. They also have a disclaimer that says we can't guarantee that anybody is going to have an out-of-body experience. To be honest, that didn't bother me a whole lot. I had had out-of-body experiences. I figured there's no way that they can guarantee that. So it, it didn't bother me, and I was still going forward with this mindset. This was going to be a week packed full of out-of-body travel. They also provide you with a, a CD that has a couple of hemi-sync tracks on it. And these hemi-sync tracks are just uh, sort of an introduction to the work, the exercises you're going to be doing throughout the week. All right, so... End of September comes, I get on a plane, I fly to Charlottesville, Virginia, and the Monroe Institute sends a shuttle to come pick you up. It was driven by a guy named Mike, super nice guy. He's been at the Monroe Institute forever. Uh, he talked a lot about Bob, talked about the history of the Institute, the history of Hemisync. Very interesting guy. Fun to listen to him to talk. Fun to listen to him talk. Uh, he drops us off, and we get our rooms. Uh, I shared a room with a guy named Lucas, very cool guy from, uh, from Canada. There were actually people from all over the world. Uh, and I will say that the people at the Monroe Institute were by far the best part of the entire experience. These are the most accepting, most loving, most just incredibly open-minded people you could possibly imagine. I, there were about 20 other people in this course with me. And uh, they all were just excited to talk about uh, you know, different levels of consciousness and to talk about lucid dreaming and out-of-body travel and, and remote viewing and all of these things that normally you talk about and people just look at you like you're nuts. Uh, so it was amazing. It was That was by far my favorite part was all of the people I got to interact with there. All right, so they show us to our rooms and uh, they give everybody a gigantic packet full of useful information about this course, other courses, available hem hemi-sync tracks that are uh, available for purchase at the store, um, poisonous insect information in case you decide you want to go hiking uh, because you are up in the mountains. And uh, then they give you your name tag. There's my name tag with the little Monroe Institute uh, logo next to it. And then they show you your check unit. Now your check unit is a combination of your bed and your practice area. So it's like a, uh, it, it's your bed, but it's enclosed in four walls with a little opening in it. And it's probably about six and a half feet long, about three and a half feet wide. So you literally, literally are in a box. Uh, you climb in, there's this blackout curtain you slide shut. So it's just pitch black. There's a light switch in case you do need to turn on the light. 
and uh, behind your head there's a jack that you plug your headphones into that they provide you with that you listen to these hemisync exercises through. So that is where you sleep and that is where you spend a good deal of your time while you are at the Institute. All right, so a typical day at the Institute looked like waking up in the morning very early to the goofiest music you have ever heard written by Bob Monroe with him talking over the top of it. And he would say inspirational things like, good morning, and it is a good morning because today is the most incredible day of the rest of your life or something like that. And, and at first I thought, this is the goofiest thing I've ever heard. But by the end of the week, it really grew on me. I wished I could have gotten a copy of that wake-up music and made it my alarm so I could go home and listen to that every morning to wake me up. Um, so you wake up and you go do yoga. If you're interested in doing yoga, they bring in an instructor who teaches every morning and that's followed by breakfast, followed by everybody congregating in kind of a, a living room type area where you spend the second most amount of time uh, basically talking about exercises you're going to be doing, discussing exercises you've just done, talking about various experiences, and uh, once you are introduced to the next set of exercises, you all disperse, you go to your check units, and you go through these exercises, which they vary in length from half an hour to, I think, the longest might have been an hour and a half, and all of these are like guided meditation, relaxation type exercises with Bob Monroe talking, and uh, you, you learn to reach these various deeper, deeper states of relaxation, this, these mind-awake, body-asleep states. All right, so that is what a typical day looked like. You just are coming back, you're talking about your experiences, you go back, you do more exercises, you come back, you talk about it, go back, do more exercises. And this is just the pattern throughout the week. Um, I will tell you that by halfway through the week, I was really kind of feeling bummed out. And it was my own fault. I went into this with this expectation and I hadn't had a single out-of-body experience, and I felt like this course was really not covering what I wanted to learn. Um, I went in thinking that we would be talking more about uh, what Bob Monroe calls condition A, condition B, condition C, condition D, all of these uh, these physical uh, physical states that have distinguish distinguishable characteristics where you can definitively say, I am in condition A because here's my physical attributes. Or I am in condition B and you reach these various states and can then you get to condition D and you're in this out-of-body state. And I thought I was going to be learning all of these intermediate steps from awake to out-of-body. Well what it turned out to be was all visualization based, all relaxation based, meditation, hemi-sync guided, uh, guided scenarios by Bob. And so I started to get really frustrated because I felt like I had I was wasting my time with creative visualization when what I really wanted to do was learn out of body. So halfway through the week, like I said, I, I'm getting kind of bummed out. And I finally just said, you know, I am in a beautiful environment. I'm far away from any distractions. I'm surrounded by the most incredible people that you could possibly imagine. I have this dedicated space where I can meditate, where I can visualize, where I can try to learn something. And I'm wasting it. So at that point, I let go of all expectations and I just went with the program and I wish I would have done that from, from day one. So I'll tell you, if you go through the Gateway program, do what they say, go in without any expectations whatsoever and you will get far more out of it. So the second half of the week, I actually made incredible progress and, and it was progress that helped me in my out-of-body uh, practice. I learned how to put my body to sleep while keeping my mind awake during the day and that was something I had only ever achieved at night before. Uh, when my body was tired and I got to the point where I could do this even if my body wasn't tired. Uh, if you've heard me talk in previous videos you might be familiar with the roller coaster method that I use to induce the vibrations once I'm in the void state and this this visualization is much more than just seeing myself going around in a roller coaster it's actually feeling those vestibular sensations feeling the uh, sensation in my stomach as I'm going around and being able to generate that sense of movement just with my mind and, and I perfected that there, or at least improved my, my ability to generate these internal sensations greatly there because you spend so much time on this visualization. I just had hours and hours to just practice doing loops. And, uh, and that's, my favorite, that's my favorite method from the direct, from using the direct method, it's my favorite technique to induce the vibrations and to shoot myself out of body um, to this day. So I would have gained far more experience and I would have gained far more benefit had I gone into this with uh, no expectations from day one. All right, so you go through all of that a, a week later, they give you a, uh, 
little certificate it says you've completed the gateway course that means you can then go and you can do the other courses that uh, the gateway was a prerequisite for a couple of the other things that were kind of cool is um, one of the nights they actually have a guest speaker come and talk to you uh, from what I gather, Tom Campbell is sometimes the guest speaker. I've seen some recorded videos of him on YouTube. Uh, we happen to hear from a guy named Joe McMonagall, who was a remote viewer for the U.S. government, for the military, for uh, at least a couple of decades. And it was, uh, it was really interesting to talk to him. Remote viewing is something I'd never really even thought about before, and uh, he made his career off of it. He talked about some of the most incredible things and showed us some videos of, of him doing remote viewings and uh, and seeing these things that are off in remote locations where he's never been before. Um, so really interesting. He was there for at least three hours. He, he told us his stories and everything and then he just gave us a, at least a couple of hours to just sat, sit and chat with him and, and ask questions or whatever we wanted to do. So uh, that was a cool experience as well. Uh, so all that being said, like I said, if you do this, go into it with no expectations, at least with this Vo Gateway Voyage program. I do plan on going back to the Monroe Institute. I'm hoping in 2017 I will make it back, and I'm planning on going through the Out of Body Intensive program with William Buhlman. Uh, he's another guy I would really like to meet him before he stops teaching. And that one is all geared around out of body travel. So uh, I think if I go in with the expectation that I'm going to work on out of body, then at least it'll be uh, it, it'll be appropriate in that case. So that is it. If I if I didn't cover anything that you're interested in hearing about, if there's any other questions that you have, please feel free to ask. Uh, I tried to just cover briefly in a nutshell the entire experience and uh, kind of what I learned from it. So, as always, like, comment, subscribe, help me build this community, and I will talk to you guys again soon.